Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in another mission. This time again it is bunker busting. Bu yes, bunker busting. No, some bunker busting. The enemy at hand right here is the Black Legion. Very, very good. I love them. Bunker busting missions. Okay, then. Oh, a wonderful Black Legion Redneck Decimator. I would say let's just jump into it. We have a tough nut to crack. Our forces are unable to launch an aerial strike on a bunker protected by counter battery units. You take out the artillery pieces first, then mark the bunker for the expedition while I feed you the necessary data from orbit. Oh yeah, will do, will do, will do. To be completely honest with you, I was actually a little tinsely bit confused. I confused the bunker busting mission mission with a siege mission, although relatively similar, of course not the same mission type, although bunker busting mission I enjoy as well. Still remember like yesterday when this game mode, this this mission type was included into the game. So glad to finally have for a while. We haven't played a bunker busting mission for quite a long time, so it's on the other hand cool to have some different type of mission now available to enjoy to leisure. Very, very cool. Okay, they are gone. Let's take this guy down as well. Luckily our um, luckily our little constructs are not firing at him. Very, very good for him. So let's then take down this marine. I'm always try I always try to concentrate a little bit on the marines since they are damage dealers and they are the champions there. Okay, let's see whether our constructs are going to do the dirty work and we just You did a short work of that one, Inquisitor. But there is more. Oh yeah, there is more. So we have then taken down the first bunker, the first, not the, no, not the first bunker, excuse me there, the, the fir oh, that's a wonderful tree actually, the first um, anti-air gun, let's then head on to the second, very, very quickly, okay, I thought I've lost a construct, okay, yes, we did lose a construct there, and, um, okay, that's a little bit unlucky that there is now a larger group of enemies incoming, I didn't expect a um, that to be honest, but we then just have to cope with it, I assume. So Havoc is down, let's then take the second marine down as well. Gone he is, nice. And okay, they are gone. I now want to, of course, concentrate or just now take the second gun down. In the end, what is then? going to come up actually is after if you have if you don't know this mission type then um, I could explain after we have taken down the uh, three anti-air guns now two remaining or to be honest or to be precise in a second only two uh, one remains we then need to kill one more champion before a bunker and then the bunker is being destroyed you did a short work of that one inquisitor but there is more there is more and the good part is that all them bunkers are in a straight line so we don't need to go all over the map i actually do like that very very good very very useful so next group coming up next group going to be taken down okay he is gone um warp spawns or chaos spawns, to be precise, warp spawns, I guess is something different. Don't care about them. They are not too, too, too powerful, although in larger groups, as with every enemy in this game, in larger groups, even the small, nasty, and not heavily damage dealing units can be very, very painful. And, well, you know it. A pain in the ass, so to say. Rogue Sucker nearly gone, nice. Half of his HP is removed, already stripped from it. And that's something I didn't even know, that we can only interact with the Mortar once 
the all enemies in the vicinity are down. One less target to worry about. Keep going. So that was actually new to me as well. So that means um, she was actually with her, or what she said there, a little bit wrong. It is not that there was one more anti-air gun remaining. There's now the bunker to bust. So we call in an airstrike on the bunker and simply easily, luckily, gratefully take it down. Okay, I just pulled two champions there. Not what, what I intended. But you can argue it is at least bonus experience plus some or a slight chance for some nice little loot there. So a larger group coming up as well, but not a powerful group. And then another group is incoming. Okay, that is surprising. No, that we don't. Guys, that right now leads us to the end of this episode. And you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this wonderful episode, then please, guys, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.